please note that this report uh, may be disturbing to some viewers. The Johannesburg High Court sitting in the Palm Ridge area has heard of alleged abuse Sapang Pite suffered at the hands of Flavio Klabangwad. The 28-year-old is standing trial for murder after the state rejected his guilty plea. Klabangwane was arrested in November 2021 after body parts of her cousin and lover Pite uh, were found in his refrigerator at the Project Glen uh, home in Soweto. A reporter, Sahaja Moahi, was in court and filed this report. Day 2, week 2 of Flavio Sabangwane's murder trial heard allegations of abuse between the accused and his deceased girlfriend and cousin, Tsepang Biti. The 28-year-old also told the court he's not certain when Biti died, saying it was between the 6th of October and the 13th of November 2021. He also pleaded guilty to defeating the ends of justice and violating a corpse. Taking to the stand, a witness who may not be identified testified of what she knew about the relationship between Sabangwane and Bizi. She started off by referring to an incident in October 2019. That morning she communicated with Flavio to come and pick her up and then before Flavio arrived she sat on the edge of the bed and that's when she told me that he hits me. That's when she told me that Flavio beats her up. A month later, Biti gave her friend details of another alleged abuse incident where Sabangwane allegedly threatened to shave her hair off or scar her face if she didn't return home. At night, I received a, a voice note from the deceased. She was crying. She wanted to commit suicide. And she also told me that Flavio did indeed shave her hair. The year BT died, in January 2021, another incident occurred. She then called me. saying that she's scared, she thinks this guy is going to kill her. When she said this guy, she was referring to Flavio. Did she tell you why she believes the accused was going to kill him? She said something about Flavio acting out and being angry. The witness told the court that when she attempted to get hold of BT in October of 2021, she was unable to. The following month, of the 10th of November, they communicated via WhatsApp text and agreed to meet that month. She added that she would like to believe her friend was still alive at that time. The matter continues on Thursday. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Tsukhohaj Omoachi in Palm Ridge.